Hello, Monsters of Anhin. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 12. Uh, no, 7. 7. Part 7. Why did I say part 12? What am I on? Part 7 of my Clan Vult campaign, where last time we laid into the Lizardmen, because the Lizardmen laid into me. And we're winning, although I really wish that Marathi would take this. I just need a ticket, Marathi. Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't want them recruiting more units behind my lines. Dag, nab it. Okay, you can't quite reach that. Can we recruit anything better? No, we can't recruit anything better. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's not fine. Tell you what, let's get rid of some of the... Mm, right, let's get rid of some of the bad ones. I mean, they're all bad. Warlock Master. Let's get you. That's... I mean, at least it's, it's something. What do you have? You explosive goodbye. So enabled if leadership is broken. Flight of the Turntails. They get more speed and more damage resistance. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. Okay, so we're going to continue taking everything to the south. I mean, I've, the problem is I've got quite a quite a elongated empire here. I'm a little bit worried about the elves as well. The high elves could be a problem. So, uh, potentially get another army. I do have quite a lot of money, but the problem is I'm spending it all. So I kind of want it. But having the gold mine will help as well. And I would like to do something here, yeah. Um, I don't think there's any point having... I don't think there's any point having the the mine here, because I don't think it's actually going to be able to expand anything. Uh, but we've got the mine here and here, so with any luck, uh, we'll expand to Eelheart, create a little undercity enclave of that. That's one of the things I really like about the Skaven, is that like the under-empire stuff is... It's great, right? I love the fact that you can kind of just expand it. I love the fact that there's like buildings that are going to help you. It is, in my opinion, a way of kind of making... So, interesting point. So, a friend asked me the other day, do like when do you think a strategy game map is too big? Yes, and yes. after some thinking, my response was, when the game can't make it interesting enough. So you get a game like, you know, Crusader Kings... Three, uh, defensive alliance. Um, well, you are friend. Nah. Because right, you, the, the campaign map is huge, right? You're probably never going to see the rest of it. But the fact that you you can kind of interact with characters further away means that the rest of the map still has some impact on how you play, right? Whereas I think Warhammer 3, yeah, that was bound to happen. The Warhammer 3, the map is to the point where, I mean, at least we can go to Cathay, but say you were playing as Ulf 1, right? Are you going to have any interaction with Cathay? No. Guaranteed, almost certainly no. Very, very unlikely. I think because the AI tends to just wage war on you regardless. You you tend to expand quite slowly and often in, in a direction that you don't particularly... Like, I did I want to go south and fight the lizard men? No. But the problem is, now I'm at war with them, the only way to stop that war is effectively extermination. I mean, the game is called Total War. Machinations. But with, with the Undercity stuff, you kind of have this ability... To interact with other parts of the map and have that useful to you in a way that most factions don't. Right, because now I'm, I've kind of got a little little thing going on over here, right? Even though I've got no armies over here, and I'm going to be honest, probably never will. Even though it's not that far away, because my resources are so stretched, and because, you know, as soon as I as soon as I defeat the lizard men, this guy's going to declare war at me. So, I, again, it's, it's this kind of case of player choice is actually, in Total War, in my opinion, quite curtailed by the fact that the AI just kind of, like, leads you by the nose. Where's my, my doom racket? A lot of the time, the AI is just leading you by the nose. And that is disappointing. 
I mean, I kind of understand it in that, you know, they need to, they need to make the game interesting. And one of the ways of making it interesting is, is by providing that conflict, right? Okay, totally understand that. On the other hand, sometimes you just think, I just want to do this, but I can't because I don't have the resources and I'm currently fighting with everyone around me. I sometimes feel like it, it, it should be should be better at guiding you or providing to be honest i think in general i think the game needs to be better at providing you with opportunities to to do stuff because at the moment it's it just very much like just drags you that's my hot take anyway uh oh god what do i want what do i want here do i want do i want i probably want this right okay we'll build that We'll do that. Let's do that. All right, Hwattle. I don't even know how to say it, to be honest. Hwattle? Hwixwell? Hwixwell? I don't even know. Not important. Not important. Just going to just going to roll with it. Right, Trick Stab. We're going to give you a rocket. Yeah, baby. Everyone loves rockets, unless they're aimed directly at them, of course. Then it's bad. God. Can't can't fire fireworks into your own face anymore it's health and safety gone mad in my opinion back in my day we used to stick them up our bum and we were fine most of the time anyway um so we're go <sighs> right vincent vincent you are in this army aren't you so we do have well i mean we could use hmm, what does this do so this gives us a better i mean are, are, you're not really a melee character are you though so I'm just going to... Yeah, you just get to be a caster, I think. I do quite like that, that option between making them more melee and more... Although, it's not really melee, it's more range. But I like I like the choice of having that. Do you want to make him more shooty, or do you want to make him magic? It's a, it's a nice, nice choice. Right, we'll put more growth there, because that's always useful. You are going to upgrade that one. I'll upgrade that one too. Keep that ticking along. And then we've blown all of our money. Bob? Do you want a mechanical claw? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Bob, you get a mechanical claw. Sorcerer inventor. Yes, yes. Have a mechanical claw. And would you like an enchant well an enchanted item? Would you like the portents of doom? Have a portent of doom. Would you like an ancillary? What can we give you? Hmm, nothing. Oh, no, raise the standard. Is that gonna cheer you up? That has cheered you up a little bit. Good. Good. I'm I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm happy that you're happy. Uh so we could go this way. I say Right, we've got Maku Peaks, we've got Hawattle, that's all good. If you want Swamp Town, Pahu is currently owned by Yuan Bo. Uh, we're going to have to kill Yuan Bo. I think Yuan Bo is going to be a cool lake. Toxa has completed his journey. How was it, Toxa? Did you get in the, see the sights and the sounds? Fantastic. Right, we're going to get now. Where is... I'm trying to think. There was a... Port city with like a bonus or something, wasn't there? Is it over here? Fu Chow? Did it have a like there we go? Okay, extra money. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we could we could I mean to be honest, if we piss off Lock here, what's the problem, right? What's he gonna do? Come at me? The AI can't use the um the sea lanes so all he can do <laughs> is basically travel across the world oh i tell you what it was so funny as was it ostanki where you can like transport enemy armies and i just sent all of malakith's armies like to cafe and then had to and then i got to watch them like walk all the way home and it was so it's so powerful everyone's going oh the changeling is overpowered no fuck that ostanki super overpowered do you know why because being able to transport enemy armies to the other side of the map means one they're not going to replace them. They can't. Because even the AI is limited by some level of upkeep. So if you transport their armies to Cathay, right, they're not going to disband them. They're just going to walk them all the way home. 
So two, that means effectively their empire is completely undefended. So you just walk over their settlements because they've got nothing left. All of their armies are in Cathay, slowly walking back home. It was the so, so overpowered. Like you just don't, don't kill their armies because if you kill their armies, you know what they do? They replace them. If you, if you just, if you transport their armies the other side of the planet, they will slowly have to walk home, and uh, it will take them a long time to get back. I think by the time I'd finished, like, finishing off Malekith, I think he'd, he'd only just managed to reach the um, the mountains. I'd, like, transported him all the way down here, and he slowly, like, walked all... And he was, he was around about here, I think. It's like he was, like, halfway across the Empire. By the point, I just, like, completely just walked all over his Empire and just, like, transported the rest of his armies over there. It was amazing. And um, probably one of the funniest things I've ever done in, in Total War. Just, I, I, like, I don't know what they were expecting you to do. Were they expecting you like, to move armies closer to you so you could attack them? And I'm just like, no, I'm just going to move them to Cathay. So long! Bon voyage! Don't forget to write! No greater rat than Mimi! Ikir! Oh, peace... No, no, you've got to offer me more than that, mate. 300. Barely worth me getting out of bed for less than three grand. Boop, boop. War succeeds. Good for them. This round of dripping death. Okay, let's mop I these guys up. Oh, this does me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That looks vaguely problematic, doesn't it? Uh, we will. Put my food out. Just do that. Uh oh. Oh, Marathi, what have you done? Marathi, you, you see... <laughs> Marathi, you... No, you're going for it. You are going for it, girl. You go, girl. I mean, it's not going to work, but... Good on you. Good on you. That, that will work! Well... Diabolic devices! Yeah. Um... Hmm. Okay. Let mm. all right. Tell you mm. well. All right, let's get rid of them. Because I've, I've, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling them. Uh, we'll give you the council guard because they're pretty good. You, on the other hand, are going to have. I'm gonna give you, right. So if we get rid of you, we'll give you that. We'll get rid of you. And we'll give you that. Let's do something like... Yeah, that works. Right. So we got a little bit of extra income here. Why did I... Oh, yes. That's going to give me more money, isn't it? That's fine. We've got more food as well. That's good. I'm going to try to expand, which would be good if we could. Petrified Forest is actually making... Make 400, which is pretty much what that makes. So we'll upgrade you. Build that because we don't need to see what's going on, and we'll grab you as well. Okay, I think Trickstab is going to have to deal with some elves because we've currently got uh, five stacks of elves heading this way, or at least heading towards Marathi. And unfortunately, uh, that means we've got to fight in corrupt territory, doesn't it? Oh, that sucks. You're in a map of dicks. Which is kind of the problem. Right, we are going to need probably another army then if we're going to deal with this. Uh, so, where do we want that army? Somewhere we can actually recruit semi decent units. Like here? No. What about here? Ah, right. Okay, plane of spiders. So, let's. I mean, I feel like we should go with a. Mutin, the, more like Martin. The plague ridden. Master engineer. You are going to want shields because. Wait, do you have shields? It looks like you have shields, but it doesn't say you have shields. <laughs> it doesn't say you've got shields. Um. Okay. Well. I'll just recruit a bunch of you guys, I guess, to start off with. 
Maybe Master if I give yes. Swamp Town to Yuan Bo, he'll leave me alone. For a minute. Oof, public order there's not doing well. Why is that? It's going down well, it's gonna get better, but it's not really going. So so I'm just going to take that off. Oh, and it's only going down by five. Well let's change that as well then. With any luck, maybe we can do something. Good luck. Little confederation. Right, I'm just getting... Oh, hello. Okay, well, I don't know how long you're going to have this. But that's fine. No, do, 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 do. That one. And then that one. Poor old Toxa. Okay, why do I think you're coming this way? Is it because you're definitely coming this way? Is that the reason? Okay, we're going to grab that. Uh, let me occupy. Do. Then Bob can come and take this one. Boop. Loot and occupy. Okay, Marathi, do you know Yuan Bo? You do, and you don't like him. Perfect. That's going to really fuck me over. Thank you very much. Do I want to do this? No, you know what I want to do is I want to build up my army more. So we can now get Storm Vermin. You also don't look like you have shields, which is slightly concerning. I guess let's get some of you then. And do I want some? You know what? Fuck it. Let's recruit a bunch of you because then you can come over and hand over these units. Marathi, is is this fine? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a certain degree of concern here. A certain degree of concern. Is there anything actually vaguely useful here? Uh, I'm going to say probably not. What about global recruitment? Okay, that's actually not too bad. I'm kind of tempted to get some more great waters. What does this do? Globe claw catapult. What does that mean? Is it better than this? It does seem like it. Um, okay. Uh, let's get rid of you. Do I... Do I do... How much money is it? Oh, okay, I've got... Seems we're going to be out for a... Do, do I want... I do like setting things on fire, but... Let's maybe go for that. We do have the poison wind mortars, but I kind of feel like the death globes are potentially slightly better. Uh, death globe. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the death globes? How much are the death globes? Okay, fuck it. We'll just, we'll just do this. Let's get rid of you, and then I will you. Okay, you're gonna be busy for two Let's turns, go. but we'll live with that. Uh, personal chem injector. That's fine. Who doesn't love injecting random shit into themselves, especially when it's glowing green? Bob fire. So fucking lootly. Gas rock no. Change my mind. Uh increase mobility. There we go. I'd love to increase my mobility. And I've got the brass orb, we got death frenzy, could get root march. Oh, okay, arcane conduits. And you are getting right, you've got that one, you've got that one. We're gonna go with Vermintide, because being able to spawn more rats is more good. This is known. Okay, we're not going to do anything else there. Food is actually looking pretty good. Light Slightly concerned about where you're going, sirs. How's the public order? Only minus one. Okay. That... Could be worse. Oh, 
Are they? Oh, they're just over there. Right, okay. Well, you're still busy for a turn. I'm going to send back to Huacal. And I'm going. This is going to going to piss Marathi off. Marathi will hear your insignificant plight. Do I get... I don't really want it. I could just, like, sell it to uh, Yuan Bo. That does mean we've still got lizards down there. Would they peace out with me? No? Really? Shit, seriously? Actually, hang on. Shut. Peace out. What about if I give you Swamp Town? Because I don't really want it. Seriously? I'll give you back a settlement and you really don't want a peace treaty. Right, fine. Well, in that case, I'm selling it to Yuan Bo. Gone. Before your execution is ordained. Oh, shut up. My scribes. Okay. Well, I didn't really want it. I do want a gold mine. Okay, you're still busy for one turn, but you can come down, Martin, and join us. A little bit concerned about that. I'm just gonna... That's fine. That's fine. Uh, do you want more public order here? Yes. Let's try and bolster that a little bit. Uh, what's public order here is not great, but we can build it up a little bit, make that a little bit better. Get something like that, because that makes the most money. And we're going to get some marble. Upgrade my spice. Does anyone want to trade agree with me? Admiral of Supreme! Clark Harond does? Do you like Clark Harond? You do like... Okay, so you we do this. precious little time before I kill you. I mean, to be honest, Jennifer Lawrence, I would accept that. Success awaits. Meow Ying. What a way to die. Jennifer Lawrence's hands. Goth Jennifer Lawrence as well. Double win. Well, I didn't have a non-aggression uh, defensive alliance. Oh god, Eltharian is... He's off on one. He's off on one. Okay, uh, looks like Marathi did manage to actually beat back that attack. Amazingly, genuinely didn't think that was going to happen. But there we go. Okay, I'll move you down. Bob, I think it's, uh, it's just going to have to stay there as a defense mechanism for in case you and Bo or the lizards come back. I mean, they will be back. I have, like, thrown them all the way. All the way back to a single settlement, so that's something. Uh, we'll get the public order here. Also, that, in fact, this, this, this province has got a bunch of docks, hasn't it? So that's 150 there, 150, and we can make a, a 300 there. So, you know what, money-wise, maybe too bad. Reaver probably needs defences because I suspect they'll probably just sail around. So what we could do, come down to Port Reaver. Just going to make them a little bit sad, but that's okay. We could actually go and start hoovering up some of these. I will. I don't. Not, not a fan. Not a fan of Cathay because they're just very, very tanky. Can we put both of these? I guess we could, but it would be quite a... So we could... So, I mean, like, we could still... I've always thought you should build one or the other, but I guess you could build both, theoretically. It's an option. This will... So that's upkeep reduction for what lightning thrower. What lightning cannon? I do wheel units, which is fine. I thought one of these gave money. Apparently not. All right, never mind. That's fine. We're going to... Okay, so this is fine. We could upgrade this, and then we can upgrade that as well. Get a little bit more food. How much food are we losing? 16 a turn? Oof, that's quite a lot of food. We haven't eaten anyone in a long time. We need to find someone to eat. So, let's move Martin. Warlock ready. Indeed, you come down here. Uh, I mean, we could recruit... 
Let me think. In fact, where are we? So we've got. Actually, got that one there. What have we got down here? So we've got. It's basically the same stuff. Oh, we can get the the glow. I mean, the glow claw catapult does seem to be better. I think. So what we'll do is we'll grab some of these boys. We'll grab four of them to be ticking along with. That works for me. Do we maybe want to do some attacking? We could do some attacking, couldn't we? We could, like, cross the sea, go and bop. Well, or do we want to go... Let's, let's go and finish the lizards off, because if we kill the lizards, right? I don't think you like me, do you? No. You've got a massive aversion towards me. Mate, if you got, if you just got to, to know me, you'd realise that I was much worse than you imagined. So probably not a good idea. Okay, we'll sail to the wreck. We'll kill all of them. And then I'll eat them because I need the food. Ooh, delicious. Serve me, me. Good job, Bob. And a buttload of money, which is actually very, very useful. Uh, okay, we'll upgrade you. Upgrade you. We'll upgrade that as well. How's happy is Skeggy? It's actually not too bad. Better than I would have thought, which is good. What's Cath What's going on in Cathay? Right, let's go and have a look. I thought you were going to lose food, Chow, but no, it seems like you're fine. Could stick some extra... I mean, you are making quite a lot of money, so I would like some of that. You know, you've got yours. Where's mine? So let's get some of that on. Uh, we'll get try and spread in Cathay as well. That's nicely. Uh, we could get more food. Food. How much is that? An extra twenty. A little bit dicey, but once we've once we spread that, we can get rid of it. So it's fine. Not not a problem. Not a problem. Bob, Bob, Bob. You can do something like that while we just keep an right. We've got pl right. You're coming down to fight. What happened to your armies, Marathi? Did you die? Still, you managed to fight off that massive elf Mother armada, which I honestly thought I was going to have issues with that. But you managed to fight it off. The yeah, eye's weird sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes it folds like a wet flannel. And other times it does weirdly, like it, it manages to exceed your expectations. I don't know what I'm kind of worried about. How well Solostra's doing? You are Thing to the tides, so why should I care for your desires? Mm-hmm. At least you like oh crap. Oh crap. Even the law master. Oh crap. What the fuck? Did you really sail all the way up there so you could travel all the way down? Is that really what you did? You absolute fucking lunatic. They couldn't land anywhere along here. They must... Oh, they must have gone up here. They must have landed here. And then just traipsed to down. Bloody hell. Right, you will, you will never... You will never deal with this. I am going to go and deal with it. I will loop the carcass so I can non their faces. Delicious faces. Okay. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. Oh. God damn it. Um. There is a need for pest control, I see. Well, I mean... Well, I mean, maybe, maybe not. Good, good Lansky. Okay, if you in camp, Look, here, here. you've got a buttload of dragons, haven't you? Like a lift. I mean, three dragons. Come on, you don't need three dragons. That's insane. Three dragons, Jeremy. That's insane. Yes. Um, it's gonna be good against dragons. I mean, basically nothing here. Teeth breakers, maybe. Uh, that might be quite useful. Uh, 
Okay. Then, if we get a Warlock Engineer, like, Rel. You go and join them. Do we have another Chieftain available? We do. Useful. Um, we will go with Perceptive. You come and join us. Uh, it's going to take one turn. I would like some artillery. It's going to take two turns. It's going to take two turns as well. What's the range on that? Range is 450, 350. Right, we're going to grab one of them. In fact, we're going to grab two of them. And we're going to get rid of two of you. In fact, we may get rid of more of you. But for the moment... Warp power. Unless I want to get a stupid sexy snake that I do like stupid... I mean, I do. I really do. I'm going to get two. I'm going to get two stupid sexy snake ladies. Treat yourself, right? Especially when you get this kind of bullshit. Coming from this direction. Right, we'll deal with that. You are going to attack the lizards. Just going to keep them busy. Bob can move up here. You guys aren't happy, but you're surviving. Does does Haghall doesn't have defences because they didn't really think that far ahead. What are the elves doing? Okay, we'll be good to go in one turn. We need to just just book it up there. Book it up there. Oh hello. Hello, Mazdaman. What you just run away from, from Kazrak, I see. Don't run. I just wanted a chat. What happens? Yeesh. Oh, did you beat up both of the Black Arcs? Oh, oh, right. Well, let's let's return the favour. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.